channel on today's video I figured I would do an Ulta haul because I did purchase a couple of stuff throughout these past months that I haven't been on YouTube so I just figured I would start my whole YouTube journey welcome back with an Ulta haul stuff that I purchased and I will be showing you guys everything so yeah before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also turn on that notification bell to get notified when I upload videos and give this video a thumbs up at the end if you liked it and if you guys want to see me do a look with any of these palettes that I show just comment down below what um palette you would like for me to use so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so the first palette that I'm going to show you guys, I already opened all of these because I did like swatch them and stuff. So I got rid of the boxes just because I didn't want them to be, you know, cluttered. So the first thing that I got is this Anastasia Glow Kit. I do have, let me show you guys the other one that I have. I have this one, which is the Sugar Glow Kit. This is more like for fair skin tones. I mean, anybody can use it, but I feel like it's more towards the lighter skin tones but I got this one because there's a couple of shades here that I can wear and it looks like this right here and this is such a pretty shade like for the eyelid it's so pretty I wouldn't wear that as a highlighter because I feel like it looks a little bit ashy on me I have tried it but I feel like it looks ashy on me but the other ones work great this is more like if you have a tan or your medium to dark skin it looks beautiful but yeah this is the first one that I got so the other palette that I got is the modern renaissance right here and I actually did use this one right now on my eyes. So if you guys want to see this look, I think it will be up by the time I post this video. So I used to have this one, but I gave it away just because I never used it. But recently I just got it again because the colors are so pretty. I don't know why before it was I wasn't like into it. I had just gotten it because I was kind of collecting all the Anastasia palettes, which I do have a couple of the Anastasia. You can't you can't really see them, but they're like somewhere up there. Um, so I was missing this one, so I got it back. And I love these shades because they're just like a bunch of neutral shades. And I feel like you can also do something like with the pink ones right here. So I also got this palette. So this next palette that I got is from Too Faced and this was their Tutti Frutti collection. So it looks like this right here. I like that it has like this little raspberries right here. You open it from here from the side it has a little corner. And these are more like berry shades. So these shades are so pretty like all these purpley ones they are so pretty. And then if you want something more nude you have these right here. So I was planning on filming a Valentine's look with this palette, but like I said, I was just not into it, so I just never did anything actually. So yeah, that's that palette. The next palette is also from Too Faced, and it's their Gingerbread palette, which is right here. And I love how these smell. Oh my god, this smells so good. It smells like all, all their palettes smell like chocolate. So these are the shades right here. Also, you have very neutral shades and you have some uh, purpley shades. Um, and I like this little gingerbread thing right here. So yeah, this is the other palette that I got. I think I've only used this like two times. I want to say I've used it like two times already. And it was just something like supernatural. So if you guys want to see once again a tutorial or a video with any of these palettes that I'm up, that I'm about to show you, let me know down on the comments down below what palette you would like for me to use or review or try on for you guys. So now I got two of the Urban Decay palettes, and the first palette is the Urban Decay Naked. This is the cherry palette, and these are mainly like berry shades oops there goes the brush i really don't use these brush well this one looks kind of decent but i really don't use them so these are the shades right here it also goes like from natural and then it goes from to like berries so i guess it's called cherry collection because they're like cherry colors so this is the other 
um, palette that I got and it has some matte shades and it has some glittery shades so yeah this is the other palette that I got the other palette that I got is also from Urban Decay and this is the Naked Heat it looks like this this palette you guys looks so it looks so pretty let me take away the brush because it's gonna fall off so these are the shades right here I would totally wear these shades like on an everyday look because they're just so natural shades like brownish terracotta so it actually matches with anything that you wear so these are the shades right here that's what they look like as you guys can see I've used it because I did swatch a couple of them and I believe I used it one time so that was the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette now these two palettes that I'm about to show you guys, I think these are the most expensive palettes that I've purchased and they are the Huda Beauty. So this is the first one that I got. It's the Huda Beauty. Oh, that looks so cool. This is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette and when you open it, it does have a little, you know, little pamphlet here. It's just like a little protector, eyeshadow protectant. And these are the shades right here. You guys, these shades are everything. Like these glittery shades right here. These have like little, what would you call that? Like a baked shadows or something? I don't know what they're called. But these shades, you guys, are everything. Like these glitters, they're everything. So yeah, this is the other palette. Once again, you can create a lot of looks with this. You can do the you can go for the nude side or for the more bold side so once again if you guys want to see me do looks with these palettes just let me know so the other one is also a huda beauty and this you guys this packaging is so cute and this is the rose gold palette remastered it also has a little eyeshadow protector and this is more on the dark side as you guys can see right here I did swatch all of these shades so yeah these are the shades right here also you can create a bunch of looks with this and I like that it has a black because I feel like every eyeshadow palette should have a black and a white just because you can do a, a bunch of stuff with it so so these are the shades right here once again this was the Huda rose gold palette Another palette that I got, and this one actually I did not take it out of the packaging because it's so cute, is the Anastasia Carly by Belle palette. It looks like it's like a studded kind of. You can actually feel the little bubbles, but they're not like actual gems. Let me just open this one so you guys can see it. I was waiting to do like a tutorial on this one. I think I will do a tutorial on this one pretty soon. So this is what the actual palette looks like. It looks like it's it has like little studs this is the palette right here these are the shades I feel like these shades are more like a winter shades that like you can use these for like winter season but once again I mean you can use you can use these shades like throughout the year because they're just so pretty but I feel like it goes more like towards the winter shades for me personally so this is the other palette that I got also I I got this palette a while back when it came out and I was going to do a video once again and I just never did it I think it was maybe like in I don't know November December and this is the Jeffree Star Morphe, Morphe Times Jeffree Star palette it's even on its original packaging because I didn't want to get it out and you know I feel like when it's like a cherry star morphe stuff i like to keep the stuff the way they are because i feel like they're like collection i don't know so this is the palette right here these are the shades this green you guys is so cool and this glitter is like a pressed glitter it's so pretty i did swatch it and let me just swatch that glitter for you guys so you guys can see look at that that is oh my god look at that it feels kind of like grainy kind of like you can tell that there's glitter in there 
but once you work it in to your skin it looks so pretty and it looks so metallic look at that you guys that is so pretty so yeah like I said I was going to be doing a review on this so maybe I'll do it um, later because all these shades right here like like this section right here that looks so pretty so I do want to make a look with this palette um, maybe in the future so that's the other palette that I got I'm gonna put it back away because like I said with these collections since they are limited edition I do like to keep them reserved if that's what you call it okay the other palette that I got and this one was not an Ulta haul but I I figured I would just um, show it to you guys since they do have it this is the Jaclyn Hill palette and this is their volume 2 palette I got this one when it first launched and I haven't even used it because I am going to be filming a video after this video so these are the shades right here it has a bunch of like natural shades and then more like vibrant shades right here so this is the palette right here once again this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette the volume 2 I do have the first Jaclyn Hill palette and I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite palettes um, it works with every skin tone you can do a lot of looks with it so I figured I would get this one too because anything that is Jaclyn Hill I like to get okay another thing that I also got from Ulta it's the Too Faced Born This Way powder this is the translucent um, setting powder I do have one but I'm running low so I just figured I would pick up another one and this is actually what it looks like right here so I did purchase another one just to have as a backup I also got Luna is crying on the door. I also got this Tarte mascara right here. This is the uh, Man Eater mascara that I got. I just wanted to try it out, so I did purchase this one. It has kind of like a leopard. Um, it has like a leopard print on it, and this is the actual wand right here. So I did purchase this one because I wanted to try something different. I haven't tried it yet. It's still on its original packaging. So I will be trying that one soon because my other one is almost out. I also got a ColourPop. I thought this was more like a, like a blush. But it's I think it's actually a highlighter. This is called Super Shock cheek pearl lies smoke and whistles the shade is smoke and whistles i thought it was like um i thought it was a blush but when i got it it was way super lighter so it looks like this and i swatched it it is super soft like any other color pop super shock shadows and stuff and this is actually a highlighter which is right there it is so pretty i've only used it i think one time and it was so pretty very natural and i would wear that for like an everyday use because it's not that um blinding as a highlighter so another thing that i got is this color pop lippy stick and they have a bunch of lippy sticks and i just purchased this one because i don't think i have anything similar to this and this is in the shade oh snap and it's a matte shade it looks like this and let me just swatch it for you guys this shade is so pretty you guys look at this it has like a purpley undertone but it's also a nude shade and it looks so pretty i know it says matte in here but i really don't see it matte it has a little bit of a sheen to it so it's not really a matte lippy for me another thing that i got is the Anastasia contour kit and I got a new one because my old one looks a little bit crusty already so I got a new one which looks like this and let me show you the old one just so you guys can see what mine looks like see this thing already looks all ugly it's already peeling from here this is what it looks like I mainly use this shade and I didn't want to buy just a shade because I feel like I don't know I feel like it's basically almost the same price 
as if you buy the whole thing so i just figured i would buy the whole thing and you know just keep it as a backup because that one is already all ugly i already hit pan on that shade so i just figured i would get a new one and you know just have it there as a backup so the other thing that i purchased also it's the jacqueline hill you can't really see it on the light it's a Jaclyn Hill um, Luminous Powder and I got it in the shade Brighten Up which looks like this. I have a backup right here because I absolutely love it. So this is what it looks like. I did use it right now and I don't know if you guys can see on camera but my skin does not look matte. It looks kind of like sheen. It has like a little like um luminous to it. I don't know how to say it it looks like I have highlighter but it's not a highlighter it's a pressed it's a loose powder I just love it and I had to buy another one because these have been selling out and I didn't want to you know I just want to have a backup so I did got another one of those okay and the last thing that I got I think that's the last thing yes so the last thing that I got is the Jeffree Star and Morphe brush collection once again, I have it on its original packaging because I feel like these items are collectibles. So this is what it looks like right here. As always, Jeffree Star stuff is pink and it comes in a little baggie and it has brushes on them. So I haven't used these because I still have a bunch of brushes. So like I said, I keep these on its original packaging because I feel like it's uh, collection. I actually got one of these for my sister-in-law for Christmas as well. So yeah, that is it for my Ulta haul. And once again, if you guys want to see me do a look on these palettes, on a specific palette or review it, tell you guys what I think about it, please let me know on the comments down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.